them. Now, Milhouse, as he dabbles in foreign policy and scares the hell out of us, listen to this from the Telegraph of England. Barack Obama heads to Britain and Europe in two weeks' time as the leader of the first, the first U.S. administration to wholeheartedly back the creation of a federal Europe. In contrast to earlier administrations, including those of George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, the Obama administration is avowedly Euro-Federalist in outlook and is keen to help build a European Union defense identity as well as support the foundations of a European superstate in Brussels. This dangerous shift in U.S. policy is a betrayal of both U.S. and British interests that will threaten the long-term future of the Anglo-American special relationship, weaken the NATO alliance, and undermine the defense of British sovereignty in Europe. What's going on here is that the French and the Germans want to control Europe by treaty and by bureaucratic organization. The French and the Germans want to basically conquer Europe. And the British don't want to participate in that. And we have other allies that don't either. Ireland, Poland, the Czech Republic, and others. They want to resist this because that combination is far too powerful. And what will happen is Britain and some of these other countries will get lost. Their sovereignty will be lost. Their traditions will be lost. So they're willing to go to some extent into this European Union, but they don't want to be gobbled up in it. And so Barack Obama apparently says, well, screw you. We favor that. Now, I find this outrageous. First of all, why do we favor this? Why do we favor building up these countries to compete against us? I mean, it's not, it's not exactly like the Germans have a great history of peace. That is, the German governments. They don't. And it's not exactly like the French have been the greatest allies. Oh, sure, this Sarkozy's pretty good. But he's the exception to the rule. So why would we want to build this up to compete against us? I mean, if Obama favors this, at a minimum, he ought to just stay the hell out of it. And yet, they want, he wants to build them up to create a superpower of states in Europe to compete with us. Is that not bizarre? It's not bizarre if you don't really care about American sovereignty. It's not bizarre if you're a quote-unquote global citizen. It's not bizarre if you consider yourself a global citizen first and an American citizen second. You see the destruction of sovereign nation-states as a good thing because you believe they're an accident of history in the first place. You believe America is an accident of history in the first place. And so the more you can globalize, the more you can socialize, the more you can centralize authority, the better if you're a statist and you're in power. Nothing better than a world that is one or close to one if you're a statist where you can impose your positions and your views internationally, not just parochially. This is the Obama mindset. This is why he will support wide open, quote unquote, immigration reform. And this is why he will also support a federalized European Union, even though many of our allies reject it. He doesn't care. 